Do y'all remember when you had small children and, or if you do still have small children, and you would pack snacks for them to go absolutely anywhere? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that was definitely something that I did. Like, God forbid my kids got hungry, right? Because they were terrors when they got hungry. And so regardless of where we went, I always had a bag of snacks. And here's what I need you guys to do for yourselves is pack that same bag of snacks. So I am in my car right now where I am a lot and this is where a lot of you get really tripped up we're okay when we're at our house in the morning we're okay when we're at our house for dinner we're okay if we've planned our lunch or if we are making good choices out and about in the world or if we have a kitchen or a lunch break room at our work but snack times like the after school when we're picking up kids and driving around in circles or when we're running errands and especially on weekends when we find ourselves in our cars more frequently or just not at a place when we can eat. We go to fast food, we go to gas stations, we grab junk, or we just don't eat, right? We're starving, we're in our cars, we're trying our best to do really, really good, so we just don't eat. And then by the time we do get home, we're dying hungry, and we make very poor choices and eat a lot of calories very quickly, just trying to get back on top of that feeling of being hungry and stop that feeling. Um, so how do we fix that? We have an emergency bag in your car, an emergency snack bag that never leaves your car, just like an emergency first aid kit or those roadside flares or whatever the fuck else is in the trunk, like a spare tire. So I'm in my car. There's my emergency bag. It lives there. It goes in the back seat when someone is in the front. Um, things that I pack in my emergency bag, and I'm, I'm telling you, emergency bag, you gotta have your shit. Quest protein chips, almost the same macros as a shake. I eat them every day. They taste delicious. Rice cakes. I like brown rice cakes. The white ones taste like cardboard. The brown ones taste really awesome once you get used to them, I guess. Um, also in the emergency snack bag, what you need in your emergency snack bag in your car. Um, I have a jar of peanut butter. You could do like the single serving peanut butters that you like drink out of the pouch. Those are great. I also actually do have, um, plastic knives in my bag and I will put peanut butter on my rice cake in my car. Eek. Um, I have a shaker cup. Always, always. I have a shaker cup because I always have a whole bunch of protein powder as well. Um, you could do, there's tons of different protein powders that come in like a premix, the box protein powder drinks that um, don't need to be refrigerated that you could keep. But what I do when I have things that are refrigerated, you could do a little soft-sided cooler with ice, but this is just easier in my world. I do gallon Ziploc bags. I put things in here that I want to stay cold. So I always have string cheese in there. And I don't eat meat, but um, for you who do eat meat, you could do lunch meat. Um, I like to, I have Smart Deli, which is fake meat, um, and it's like straight protein. So we're looking for high protein foods because protein will keep you fuller longer and is a great decision for your body when you are looking for calories. I also have in my snack bag, um, pre-workout because, um, you know, if I'm going to be working out, I'll be in my car to get to the gym. And so I just keep my pre-workout in here too. Um, other things you could put in a snack bag would be single servings of plain Greek yogurt. Um, you could do beef jerky. You could do uh, any kind of jerky. Um, you could do uh, mm -mm, tuna. So they make like the packages of tuna that have like the crackers on the top and the tuna on the bottom and the boxes. Um, you, you can eat a couple crackers for your snack in a box, for your snack in your car. That is fine. Um, and I, there's a lot of other things that fall into the category of portable protein or healthy carbohydrate. I have even gone so far as to cook up a whole bunch of sweet potatoes and keep them um, in foil in my car and eat them like an apple. So there, there's many ways, especially if you are creative about what to put in your emergency snack bag. I think the biggest trick to success with emergency snack bag in your car is to make sure to refill it once in a while because they get 
cranky when we don't feed them. And adults, yes, we get cranky, but we also just end up making very poor food choices. And if we don't eat, we're negatively affecting our metabolism and also very much upping the chances of making poor food choices when we do get in front of food. Or especially like if we go take our kids to fast food. So if we're buying McDonald's or Sonic or Burger King for our kids and we're hungry, oh shit, watch out, right? That's when you reach for your emergency snack bag. So there's mine again. It always lives here. Check it every couple days to be sure that it's got stuff in it. Fill it back up again and always, always, always eat your snacks. So a very great way to, to stay on track with eating every couple hours and be sure that by the time you get back to a kitchen or a real food source, you are making good decisions because you have kept yourself fueled while you're in the car. I'm telling you, emergency snack bag, guys. Go make one.